So this is where following someone's physical exam closely becomes really important. These patients are in the ICU, they're getting very frequent neurological checks. If someone's neurological exam has a very sudden decline, such as they were talking to you and now they're no longer conversant, they were protecting their airway and now they have to be intubated, now they're having seizures, this should prompt you to get some imaging done to see what's going on. On a CT, you may see that the area of infarct has expanded. There may be increased edema in the brain tissue. This can cause midline shift, where the midline structures are pushed away from the area of infarct due to the swelling. You may also see signs of herniation where the brain is being pressed downward into the foramen magnum and down toward the spinal canal. These would all be indications that someone's having an increase in their intracranial pressure, and they might be a good candidate to go to the operating room. The treatment here typically involves a decompressive hemicraniectomy where a portion of the skull is actually removed, and this allows the brain to have enough space to swell and heal. We can go back and replace that skull piece later.